If you picked up one capitale for every time you hear the word capitale, I wouldn't even have to make a guide for this, because you hear that word a lot. And sadly, you don't actually pick up that much in game. But thankfully I figured out a little system that works for me. That gets me like one to three capitale per mission, usually three. I also have some tips that I think you might find useful while playing these missions. But first, I want to very quickly go over the basics so that we're all on the same page. I'm presuming that you got the letter and you've talked to Guaido Martele in San Denis. He's explained to you that there's three jewels that he wants you to get. This will be done in three different missions called Blood Money Opportunities. And to do one of these Blood Money Opportunities, you'll need to raise between 15 to 25 capitale depending on what difficulty and reward you want from the mission. So to earn this capitale, he puts you back in touch with some of your old contacts. These are Anthony Foreman, James Langerton, Sean McGuire and Joe. You will find Joe just east of Emerald Ranch in a shack. You will find Anthony Foreman down in either San Denis or possibly over in a shack just outside Rhodes. You'll either find Sean McGuire southeast of Great Plains or else you'll find him in a shack over in Talltree. You'll find James Langdon in either a bank on the south of Lake Don Julio just below Armadillo or else you'll find him just east of Pike Basin in Hennigansteel. When you talk to these NPCs you'll get an option to do blood money missions and under the crime section you'll have a list of missions where you can possibly get Capitale. This is important here there is no guarantee you will pick up Capitale in these missions. The game only tells you that you can pick up Capitale by looting or finding it in loot boxes and chests. And if you played any of these, you'll start to realize very quickly, this is rare. These missions pay very similar to that of bounties and infamous bounties, and they also have the same time structure, meaning the longer it takes you, the more gold, cash and XP you get. If it takes you 30 minutes, that'll get you the max possible pay, but it doesn't increase in a straight line. So for every additional minute you wait after this 12 minute mark, you get less additional cash and gold. So although you'll get full whack at 30 minutes, if you actually finish the mission and then start another mission directly after, you'll actually earn more quicker. That's only if you're looking for gold and cash. If you're looking for a capitale, uh, it's a bit different. As I mentioned earlier, when it comes to Capitale, you can only get it by looting bodies or finding it in chests and loot boxes. But you can loot every single body, loot every single chest in the mission and not get a single Capitale. Thankfully, not all missions are created equally. Looking through the list of missions, you'll find that there's three missions that have three parts of them. These are the Jeb Phelps contract, the railroad contract and the blue water contract. It's worth noting here that you can access any of these missions um, at any stage with any of the different strangers. I have played through these a lot and I can tell you that you might find a stray capitale by looting in the first two parts but you're probably going to find three in the final. Sometimes you get one in the final but thankfully you can do it again. Little bonus tip here for doing all of these uh, missions. If you make the Crips stew back at your uh, camp, you can actually get three gold cores going into all the missions. And these will actually last going into all the missions. The um, Crips special camp stew will give you gold cores for three days. So this is definitely worth doing. Let's go back to the Capitale. So let's take the railroad contract as an example, as this is the one that I've grinded the most. So what you want to do is quickly, as fast as you can, don't even bother loot if you don't want, but just get through the first two parts of that story. Then when you get to the third part of the story, you want to just complete the mission. This mission is pretty straightforward. You have to come up here to the bridge and kill or capture the foreman. For some reason, I kept capturing him, but it'd probably be faster just to kill him. I have looted all these enemies a lot, and I've only ever found one Capitale on, I think it was actually the foreman himself. So now I just loot him. I don't usually loot the other ones. You can if you want, but as soon as I get the information, I just head straight over to McFarland Ranch. This is actually how I figured out how to do this um, strategy is I accidentally killed the railroad director which will make you fail the mission but I was still able to loot him and pick up three capitale even though I failed the mission. The problem with this though is if you kill him and fail the mission you're going to have a 40 minute timer when you get back to do this mission again. So if you want to avoid that timer it's pretty simple just make sure you hog time don't kill him loot him pick up whatever capital he has on him. He usually has three, but sometimes it's just one. And then once you get what you want, just hit the start menu, go to online, and then go into another lobby. 
James Langerton is actually just up there on top of Pike's Basin, so if you go over to him, you can get this mission started and rinse and repeat. I'm not 100% sure if you only get the one Capitale if you do it too soon after. This is because I actually like to mix it up. So I actually have all three of those finale missions like they're ready to go. And just close them out as soon as I get the Capitale. So let's show you where to get the Capitale in the other two missions. In the Jeb Phelps contract part three, I definitely don't find this as consistent if I do too quickly in a row. So again, this is why I like to kind of switch these missions up. Doing them on rotation, I usually get the full whack each time I do the mission but this one is actually really quick to do so first of all go over here to the clue check the clue then get on your horse and just ignore the trail just run through this exact area here and then you want to park your horse just here basically you want them pointing out to the road so that you can make a good fast getaway then just get off the horse into the house and you'll then start the cutscene once the cutscene's over I just wait for him to get onto the horse and then I will just dart out onto the road. I'll just avoid all the cops. Sometimes I just don't even shoot them. I just trample them and just leg it. But um, then you can just ride, stick on the road or just go across country. But just get to the fort. Now, sometimes I don't even shoot anyone when I run into the fort. I just run straight in. Um, in this particular one, I think I got caught by the Maxim gun and it actually nearly kills me. But it's no problem if it does. You just respawn. Just head in here to this area with the shack and just go into the hole in the ground. Then you just want to run over here to the little um, lockbox on the bottom left. Sometimes my character has its mind of its own. It goes for that lockbox instead. But it's the lockbox in the bottom left you just want to go for first. Normally, you'll find three um, Capitale here in this lockbox. Your mission will give you one. If you um, do it a bit too quick after, this mission will just have zero in here. But if you wait a little bit of time, usually you come into this exact location here, you will get three Capitale. I have looted a couple of Capitale off the guards as well. But if you want to chance your luck, have at it. The same as last mission when you're finished with your Capitale and whatever looting you wanted to do, just go into the settings and go to a new lobby. For the Blue Water contract, you just want to start a mission, you go and hogtie Blue Water Joe, take him to the dead end that he's going to lead you to. Then when you take him there, take him to the hidden map, then you'll get a bit of a cutscene, someone chucks an axe. These enemies like to chase you in a line, so a well-placed stick of dynamite always does the job. But once you've all enemies, or at least most enemies killed, just go to this point here on the map and you should find a lockbox just here. Inside you should find three Capitale. If you want, when you're at the second location, you can actually go from the lockbox from there. This will avoid all the fighting that you'll have with the um, night folk, so it's actually a lot easier to do it this way. You just have to follow the direction which I'm going to right now just run up here through the swamp and there you'll see the lockbox beside this tree here again this is a lot easier and I just wanted to show you this way also once you open the box you'll get three capitale then there's no point in finishing the mission so that you can just replay it again so just go into the start menu go to online and find yourself a new lobby it's worth noting here, of course, if you are focusing on Capitale, you won't get any of the XP or the gold or the cash that you would normally get for that mission because you're not completing the mission. So this is really just a Capitale grind. So that's basically how I've been getting Capitale pretty fast. Most of the things I read online just says that it's just random, but these drops have been really consistent for me, especially the railroad contract. Before I finish up about Capitale, I actually also want to say that check your coupons if you bought the Outlaw Pass as you do get Capitale in the Outlaw Pass. Um, you have to claim it in the coupons and then pick it up from your lockbox after. When I was playing, I actually forgot about it, which is why I just want to mention it here in case somebody else forgot that they actually have those coupons also. Once you have enough Capitale that you need, you can then start one of the Blood Money Opportunity missions. There are three of these Blood Money Opportunity missions, but at the time of recording, we can just do the first one, which is the Covington Emerald. I've done this boat on Standard and Rootless, so I can compare both of them. My strategy for Rootless was just go to the far east of the area where there's no guards and then just hug the railing here along the dock. Then when I got to this position here, just parallel from the two white dots, which are the prisoners in the train, which I suggest you just leave tied. 
they'll just get killed and you didn't get you killed. I then just snuck onto the train from that way. Then work your way up through the carriage. I think it's best to work your way up um, when you've got obstacles on either side of the train so you're not gonna have uh, police uh, riding beside you picking you off while you're trying to walk up. Once you get to this crate here, just take out the jewel and then it's up to you to figure out what's your best exit. My exit for this was basically just wait till it was kind of quiet, jump off on the quieter side, get onto my horse and just ride away and tonic up. To get the max payout that you would get for this, I waited a full 30 minutes, which is a little more difficult than some of the legendary bounties because you can't actually use your catalog to stop you getting kicked. So I just kind of kept an eye on it while doing other things. Doing this on Ruthless will get you 1500 XP, 225 cash and 0.48 gold. You'll also get 0.6 gold for getting a crime award for the first time you do this challenge. This is where things get a little weird because when you complete this within 30 minutes on standard mode, you still get 0.48 gold bars. Granted, you'll only get 100 XP for doing this on standard mode and you'll only get 150 cash on standard mode. But to be honest, XP and cash are just kind of worthless after a certain level and a lot of people just want gold. So I can see a lot of people just doing this on standard mode for the, the ease of it. I mean, the rootless mode is quite difficult. I'm not sure it's worth an extra 75 cash and 500 XP to be honest. That said, those of you who do complete it on rootless mode, you will get the Pacific Union cap and that will come in four different colorways and you can pick it up from Madame Nazar under the clothing section. And of course, Rockstar makes you pay for it. These missions have also got a 40 minute cooldown and you will have to get yourself another bit of Capitale if you want to do them again. But hopefully, after watching this video, you know exactly how to get that stockpile up again. Stay tuned to my channel to find out even more ways that you'll be able to complete the uh, Covington Emerald mission. And also, when the other jewel missions come out, I will do guides for those also. I really like to pack these guides full of information with no fluff. So really hope that you learned a lot within the last 10 minutes. If you did learn anything or you found this guide useful, why not let me know in the comments? That actually helps me out with the algorithm. Leaving a thumbs up also helps me stick it to that algorithm. If you have any questions, why not ask below in the comments? Also, if you have any tips or advice yourself, again, share it with the community and tell us below in the comments. See you around.